saturated. Seriously, guys, just look. Those SCVs can't even fit on the mineral line, so they're just running around like retards, trying to find a job. I'm sure that Danger would be happy to rent his uh, charity mothership I mentioned in the last game, so we might see this charity mothership just coming to save those SCVs. For those who do, of you who didn't know, who doesn't know what I'm talking about, please do see the last game. It's a really, really epic game, and you will be able to see the charity mothership. Uh, you're probably thinking, what the hell am I talking about? Will we actually be able to c c catch these tanks off the, the line? Yes, he is going to be able, because he's just going to be standing here. Come on, move, move, move. You can't verse mass marines and siege. That was really bad for, for CAC. He has to DC. There is nothing protecting anything else. He's just actually going to be able to walk right into his base. He will be able to siege in time. This base is not really valuable. It's not actually working. But we do see this. Tanks are dc It's going to be a dc tank battle. A bit of a, like a second world war style. No tech or anything. And just as I said, like he sieged the back line. And that should comfortably win for him. He's uh, Creo being a bit late on the siege. I don't think they will actually be able to uh, pull off the shots fast enough to actually take it out. Because they're at 0 0 and he's at 1 2. I mean, seriously, guys. There you go. These Marines are dying. There's one. There are two tanks still there. But everything else did die. Creo is actually at. Currently at 69 supply. And Kak is still at 151. More well, 49 now. He lost something. So we will see, we did see this quite bad macro win. The tanks are good when they're good. If they're in bad position, they're completely useless. So we just said there was quite a bad position uh, by uh, uh, Silver. And we do see that Kak has 10,000 spam minerals. He could make a god knows what. And this marine is a Spartan. That's all I'm gonna say. A Spartan marine taking out all these Vikings. And all those Vikings are just moving away from it because they're so scary. And just to say that I actually did uh, run off, so... See how scary mar a marine can be? Yeah, scary marine. And he's actually gonna walk right into these tanks. So, Spartans did die at the end, so that kinda suits with the story. And this... This does seem like in range for me. Don't know why it was an open fire, maybe it's just out of range. And these tanks are not sieged. If I look to... Creo Silva, I do see that he's... Very low on gas. He's actually working on one gas. And he has all those SCVs here not working. I mean, well, these SCVs not working. For those of you wondering why uh, I don't have the Harvesters game thing, it's because this game is before the patch. So all the Protoss OP stuff is not being made. And the relevant stuff of Terran is also not made. So we do see that I thought these tanks will be able to actually shoot. I don't know why he's not using those Vikings, he's just, he's just like watching something else. So he's just making even more and more and more, he's trying to humiliate his opponent by just making more. He did uh, scan it at the end and these Vikings just got completely raped. I don't know if, if I'm correct, I could be wrong, but we might see that Kak is trying to get an economic victory because he's just building up another base. So while Kak is making his... Six base. We do see that uh, Creo is actually running out. I would totally love to see a tank here right now. I just want to see how many SCVs you can take out in one shot. And this would be a perfect place because there's about. Uh, if I go to income tab, there is 35 workers on the worker line. Whoop! Because there are a uh, few here as well. So it's about 35 just in the mineral lines. And ladies and gentlemen, to have a saturated base, you only need 25. That's included 6 on the gas. So he has about 10 SCVs to man. He is making this expansion again, trying to move here. These tanks just stand in there. I don't know. I don't know what he's up to, because he's just... He could uh, completely kill him right now. He has so little force. He's currently at 74 supply. Half of them are SCVs. And Kak is 189, and about 800 of them are, 80 of them, 800, about 80 of them are SCVs. So we will see that this SCV does get away at one health. I'm sure he's feeling lucky. And we will see some kind of a marred drop by Creo Silver. I don't know what that was. Was that a century? I don't know what that was, but they just got bl blown up by the tanks. 
And another expansion dropped. It's one, two, three, four, five, six bases for CAC to two for Kirio Silver. This base is not this gas is not working for it's only two. This has one and this has three, so I, I'm sure that Creo was wondering why the hell do I have so little gas? And if he could only just look at his base and think, oh shit, why did I only put one SCV on that? If he if he will watch this replay, he should shoot himself in the head. Or he will shoot me in the head for Caster and making him look like a fool. Oh well, I, I hope he doesn't watch now. <laughs> so we do see that the, all these tanks are nicely sieged. They did, are sieged apart from each other, which means that even if there is going to be a drop, it will still not kill them all. And we do see that this is a really bad timing for CAC to take up this expansion because there are three full medivacs just wandering out of the expansion range. Seriously? Uh, Creo, you got a problem here? Oh well, he's not listening to me. He's just trying to take up this expansion. This, this expansion, however, ha does have the planetary fortress. So I'm not sure if it's actually going to work because if he drops them in, it's going to be completely killed by that. He's actually bypassing it. So he is going for his main base. He's actually going to take this out. And there is nothing here defending it. So I don't know what's going to happen. Because Kak might actually lose this. Being so much ahead. But because of this one cheeky attack. He could lose everything. So we do see all these tanks um, moving out in. I don't know. I think they'll be moving in though. And here comes the drop. Everything here is going to die. He did lift off this base. Maybe now he noticed he, he has 200 energy in it. But everything is going down slowly. It's just go and go boom. Dobra. He is uh, just. This is just actually dying here. And uh, yes, I did have. That was my parents calling me to get the hell off the PC. But since there's two minutes more of the game, I will cast it. I want to see how it's gonna happen that they actually died. They. they I, I don't know who's gonna GG here. I don't see CAG GG right now because he has so many tanks. But I also don't see Creo losing it. So we do see that they are. It's a bit of a showdown here. But these medivacs are here in the infantry, so they are not dying. These will die. But there's still no GG. I mean, he this tank is just staying still. Uh, Kak is trying to macro something out of it, but I don't see how he can with nothing working on low ground. There's only one actually working. It should be sieged here. Come on, Kak, you can do better than that. A bit of a way, a bad waypoint for those marines. And we might see some suicide SCVs. Kamikaze! Yep, we do see SC uh, suicide SCVs. They are just absorbing the damage for now. And they have actually died, unfortunately. Let's all do a sarcastic clap for Creo Silver for being able to take out a few SCVs. However, there we go, we did have the sarcastic clap by danger. And uh, we do see that the, these last few mounters are actually only four mounters, and there's a tank there, so. That's a completely good thing for Kak. He is actually able to pull back. He's at 3 3. And I don't see how are those actually going to pull back. One of them is not see. They're not sieging! What is he doing? What on earth is he doing? We do see another three marines and Creo Silver finally GG's. I was thinking he's gonna GG when he's seen the force coming here. That's when I would probably GG, seeing that there's just so many tanks. But <laughs> we do see that there's still a big fight coming out. They are saying yes, nice game, nice game indeed, all that. But we did see it was actually quite one sided game with Peter Kak. My mentor uh, actually winning it, so I'm really happy. Uh, and thanks to CAC for actually sending me the replay. I do have another few uh, replays of CAC, I have two, so I might have a look at them and cast them. I didn't have a look at that pre area, so we, we will see how it goes. Thanks, guys, for watching. This was SCV Space Bub. Uh, and please, please, please do send your replays and subscribe and comment, otherwise, the charity membership will own you instead of donating to you. I will get danger to go and completely kill you with that mothership. So please, please, please comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. Just like come and see my other games and tell me what you think about them. Thanks, thanks for watching. That was a SCV Spacebub.